When you look at U.S. equities, so we have to wait, of course, for individual earnings to come out and some of the companies. But overall, is there a risk that monetary policy goes too quick for them? Right. So um, right now, we think the monetary policy is right. Um, uh, we think they've been uh, gradually hiking when, as we said, the economy is, uh, is in a very robust footing, particularly after the, the stimulus. So, yes, it, monetary error is always a risk, uh, but uh, it seems that uh, at the pace that uh, the policymakers are taking right now is adequate uh, given the strengths of the economy and we think it's a good thing uh, uh, to, uh, to hike uh, and have ammunition uh, after the extraordinary experiment that we've done and you know to hike uh, before having another recession so we think it's, uh, it, the Fed is, is acting uh, rightly. Uh, Jeff, do you agree with that? And again, I guess if you're the Fed, right, or if you're just an investor, or, you, Jobs Day used to be such a big deal, but now because of the kind of the trend, you know, on trade war overlay, does it make it less relevant? I am just an investor indeed, Francine, yeah. Um, I mean, it definitely does. It was the number one thing that we watched for about four or five years post-crisis, and that's definitely not the case today. There are more interesting things going on, even actually now where you've got price indices pretty much all at 2 or above 2%. Actually, the number of data things that we're watching that could move the market is getting smaller and smaller. Actually, that's largely because this new edition of the Fed, Fed 7.0 or whatever, is, is very different, it's vastly different from the Yellen Fed and I absolutely love this new edition of the Fed. They're not allowing themselves to be buffeted and swayed by short-term gyrations, by things that they can't control, structural issues versus cyclical issues. They, are, they seem to be under J-Power recognizing that their job is to take away the punch bowl because the US economy is strong and strong in terms of a snapshot, but actually is probably strengthening as well. We're rebalancing stimulus from monetary to fiscal. And for that reason, they could go at an even faster pace economically, and I don't think it would have a negative effect at all. The big risks to me are financial market risks. They have created this distortion between the asset price cycle and the economic cycle, and we'd like that to correct smoothly, but you cannot guarantee that fact. So I'm much more concerned about markets fretting than I am anything economic, because I don't see a blip in the economy over the last two years, and yet they've tightened 200 basis points and started yep. unwinding the balance sheet. Yeah, and yet, Nadia, let me bring you up to my chart. The concern is that the yield curve actually inverts, and that means an impending economic slowdown, which every other indicator would miss. Yes, so we, we don't think... We don't think we're uh, cl anywhere close to a recession, or that the probability right now of a recession, we think, are, are still pretty um, uh, uh, low. Um, so an inversion... Uh, Inversion of the yield curve is one of the factors that, that, you, that one monitors and as three years later, 18 months to three years later, you tend to have a, a, a recession, but it's one of the many indicators. And at the moment, we have no reason uh, uh, to, uh, to get too concerned uh, about, uh, about just uh, the yield curve and the fact that it's flat. Um, if anything, as an equity investors, uh, this has acted as a headwind uh, for financials and uh, uh, we think that otherwise financials are fundamentally uh, uh, very strong and we like that sector very much. Um. It's very well capitalized. The, 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 sorry, the regulation uh, is becoming looser, uh, and we have scope for a lot of capital returns uh, and, and good earnings power uh, because of the strengths of the economy. 